guess what, Noob Noob? Not only is The Witcher renewed for a whole new season, it's also canceled. Oh my god! Just when you thought things were going to get dumber and crazier for The Witcher, they already had the writing on the wall. They're like, okay, look, folks. We have a budget. We can squeeze two two seasons out of this. We'll take... We'll do eight episodes and then eight episodes. We'll, like, consolidate it and we'll we'll fluff it out and we'll make it happen. Absolutely. Could you imagine if if you're Liam Hemsworth and you're like... I'm going to take this. I'm going to ride this Witcher train. What no, if the he, fans love me as the Witcher? He should have known what was going to happen. Nobody likes him. They're a straight. They're just going to like Witcher get woke, go broke. I'm Nobody all in. Nobody likes Liam Hemsworth. I mean, he what was was he in? So, he was in he was something. He uh, the Expendables of one of them. He died. He died. He died he, in the ex- which Expendables? He, Expendables. He was Expendable. Three, Expendables three. Uh-huh. He uh, also uh, smashed Miley Cyrus. True. Did he die in uh, Ju- what's that July Fourth movie? Independence, Independence Day, Day oh, two. He was, in th- was he in that? I thought so. That was also a franchise that got canceled. That was. It was going to be a whole franchise. Yeah. And they canceled they tried that. To get Will Smith garbage. back for it. He's like, no. No. Bad Boys for Life, though. I'm bad, I'll keep doing Bad Boys. Independence Day, no. Bad Boys, yes. Independence Day for yes. Life. Independence Day for Life. Yes. So, yes, Liam Hemsworth is like the death knell of any now, franchise. Now, Chris Hemsworth took over. Now, hold on. Yeah, but they didn't get him. They got his discount brother. So, you let's. Get Keanu Reeves. You can get so many other people. He's got Berserk. So Keanu's doing fine. Alan Richards, uh, Richardson. He's getting ready for Batman. And uh, that Ministry movie that's out now with Henry Cavill. Oh, the Ministry Un- of Unimaginable un- Ministry or un- something. Unministerable men. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's not got a nice good cast. Man. I yeah, whatever. I feel like Henry Cavill's already done this movie like three times. Yeah, the uh, the, the man, man known from, as Uncle. Yeah, the yeah. Man. It looks, it literally, yeah. looks like the British version of the man known. Of Uncle or whatever. That was a British movie. What are you talking was about? It? I'm pretty sure. No, it was. Uncle was. I thought Uncle Sam. No, what? No. I thought that was an American. I don't know. I never. No, I don't think so. I have it. Yeah. Did you actually watch it? I did. And I don't what happened? Much of it. Ah, uh, gotcha. Henry Cavill was in it before he was Henry Cavill. When he was still. Uh, he was Hank. Mission Impossible falling out. No, that was before. That was well before. Not that much before. That was like Immortal Days. He was in that movie Immortals. The it was movie like a 300 knockoff. Immortals? I don't yeah, think Immortals. So. Henry Cavill. Yeah, he was in there. Okay. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. Like but the know. article says Netflix renews and also cancels The Witcher as first glimpse. It's literally the first glimpse of season four. That's why I was confused. I was like, is it how many seasons is this? Oh, it is our boy Eric Kane. This guy, he's hot, man. Eric Kane is the same guy that I always talk about with. Um, I swear to God, we're gonna have a crossover with this guy. Eric Kane. Yeah, he's an article. We 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 did the we were both of us Citizen were reviewing, Kane. um, True Detective at the same time and getting around the same views. And he's like a senior contributor. This is for Forbes. He's just a, he's an interesting cat. He's got some takes, but he got the a feminist all mad at him. So is he woke or is he not woke? I don't think he knows what he is. I think he was he's, woke he's and not woke. He he's, transitions between the two. He he's a he's a trans reviewer. Trans uh, viewer. He I write about TV shows, movies, video games, entertainment, he's a and culture. Con. That's kind of what we do. He's a transformer. Except we don't write because you don't know how to. No, I just speak. I speak words. Yep. The Netflix's Witcher is coming to an end at the as the streaming giant. This is supposed to be like their flagship, and they effed it up so bad. Netflix announced the renewal of the show's fifth season, noting they will also be the last. Fans of the show have been waiting to learn more about the upcoming fourth season and then canceled it. The big change between season three and season four is the lead Henry Cavill was like, get me the F out of here. 
And Liam's Hemsworth's like, I'm so excited to stop a new franchise that got canceled. No, nah, he just wants a little quick money. He needs that quick cash. <laughs> yeah, that's all he seems to do is to get that quick money. Quick cash. He's probably going to be killed just like every other movie he's in. It's with huge pride we begin shooting our penultimate season of the, La- of the Witcher with a stellar cast, including some new exciting new additions. Creator and showrunner Lauren Schmidt Hithrich. That's a weird name. We're thrilled to be able to bring Andreas Sapowski's books to an epic and satisfying conclusion. I don't think anyone's going to be satisfied. It's official. The Witcher season four is in production. Yeah, baby. But that's not all. We're already planning season five, which we're canceling. No, boy. Which will be the final season of bringing this epic show. Oh, my God. Do you see this? Should I click play on this? Do you see who's writing this? Who is it? Do you see these people? I, I barely with my sunglasses. Oh, it's very difficult. Oh, they very oh it's very diverse. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, they're, oh, they're God. the ones who are writing The Witcher? Apparently. Christ almighty. Oh, oh my God. This Where's is the Jonathan writer's Nolan? room? Oh, my God. What? Where's Jonathan Nolan? He's not there. <laughs> That's for sure. Christopher Nolan? Any Nolan? Where's Alex? No, not Alex Garland. Give me a Nolan. Oh JJ my. Abrams? This looks this looks I think it looks like the cast doing like some sort of reading, table reading. Why do they have their clothes on? Why does Jennifer have her clothes on? Yeah, she's a little That was their clothes. biggest mistake. Yeah, she was like, I I was famous now for my boobs. I'm gonna not do boobs now. Cause I'm famous for yep. my boobs. And not famous anymore. Yeah, what has she been in? Since nothing, nothing. Nothing. Got it. It's all about the boobs. As soon as the Witcher gets canceled, she's done. Correct. I didn't think she was a great actress. I just think she's kind of attractive. Kind of? When she's on naked. <laughs> Very. Very. Although I still think uh, Siri is probably better now. Siri's pretty cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, it, that's where in Eric Kane, I guess we have to agree with him. I had such high hopes for The Witcher and season one. While it wasn't perfect, it felt like the start of something with a great deal of potential. Remember, it had the weird timelines and things were like real. Yeah, the story strange. was convoluted as all hell. And that, but and you were like, okay, I think I can get into this. And then they were just like, let's get woke. I just want to see how bad the viewership is in season four because now they know that a Henry Cavill's not there, b it's being canceled. But oh yeah, and but Lawrence Fishburne is in it. Is he? Yeah. I mean, I do like Lawrence Fishburne. I feel like I'm gonna hate watch it. Just oh, to I'm gonna watch, watch. it. I, I want to see it end. Definitely gonna watch I, it. I oh, season three was just. Blech. It's definitely watching it. There's there's season two was just. Blech. Season one was good. Season two, I don't remember hating season three i was like this is kind of not great like it's not terrible but it's not great do you remember when Bo DeMeo left who's who who got fired from x-men 97 but left and he was like i worked on the witcher and i will this is an exact quote i've been on shows namely witcher where some of the writers who are not fans or actively dislike the books and games even actively mocking the source material. It's a recipe for disaster and bad morale. Fandom as a litmus test checks egos and makes all the long nights worth it. You have to respect the work before you're allowed to add to its legacy. So when he went on to do X-Men 97, people were like, oh my God, it's going to be so woke. And I'm like, what, five or six episodes in? And it's been fine. It's a... X-Men, like, general hospital drama, but it's f- it's fine. He did a fine job with it. He's There's nothing to complain about so far. So clearly, this guy knew what he was talking about. And maybe Disney doesn't like his OnlyFans, allegedly, but there's problems with The Witcher. Remember the horse scene where they, were, they thought it would be funny to kill off Roach in a funny way? Stupid. And Henry Cavill was like, uh... You ride that horse the entire uh, third game. Can you please not kill it without a nice send off? And you're like, why would you do that? And he's like, please, for the fans. I just think he got tired of fighting and was like, yeah. eh, let's move on. He's like, I'm too sexy for this. 
he had Henry Cavill has gotten too sexy for The Witcher. He needed to move on and have his less sexy friend Liam Hemsworth. Hemsworth, you know, the if lesser. Hannah Montana had to pass on that guy, I mean Hannah Montana is pretty mid. Uh, no, I think technically he just rampantly cheated on her and broke up with her. I don't blame him because she has a lot of bad tattoos and hair. I think she got them like progressively more as the cheating ramp and up. hairier. Uh, I don't know about the hair, but I think the tattoos. You like that pit hair, huh? She has pit hair and oh, belly hair. Oh God. You like all the hair, don't you? She's you're a hair, hair guy. Right? I didn't know you were a hair guy. She's what is she? A Chewbacca? She just let it grow freely. I don't think people just have hair on their their chest. Uh, where's that? Where's the hair? She has pit hair. Uh, that's unacceptable. Uh huh. And down there, hair. Oh. And uh, remember, she took pictures of herself like peeing in the streets. Died. Yeah, she's a weird. Not attractive. No. She's basically ruined herself forever for any. She's like a step away from Cara Delevingne and going into her magical pussy hole in her house. That she burned down. Yes. I mean, she did. Didn't Cara Delevingne go into Miley Cyrus's magic pussy hole? I think so. <laughs> yeah. They, so. Definitely, they definitely slap salmons. I mean, t- you tell us in the comments below whose magical pussy hole are you going into? Absolutely. <laughs> How do we make these videos? I do not know. Cara Delevingne, I think I would choose over Miley Cyrus. Absolutely, a hundred. I would agree with you one hundred percent. Yeah. Even though she's a female predator, she's a she's a rapist. She is a she's a female she loves Hollywood rape juice, a starlet predator. She just literally goes to the, the local high school and, and like, alleged arsonist, which we we did not say that. No, she burned it down. <laughs> Allegedly. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, are you excited for the fourth and fifth season? Are you going to watch it? Let us know. In the meantime, catch our full length audio podcast on iTunes. You can also catch us live stream here on YouTube, 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come rumble with us as well. Rumble in the jungle and uh, join the channel. Like, subscribe, or noob noob will. Starve to death communist. and fall asleep. He will become a communist if you do a not support us. Commie. He is a, a sleeper cell commie. Sleepy co- sleeper cell commie. Yep. Absolutely. You want to stop that if you're American. So, uh, and if you're not American, we love you too. Because we'd have plenty of Chinese fans, plenty of fans from the Deutschlands and the Netherlands and all the lands. But from here, us in these lands to your lands and our lands, we love all y'all, but we are all to the next one.